hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you how to build how to make how to display rather a pdf inside a web view in xcode using swift for ios so before i get started with the tutorial let me show you a small preview of what i we will be building today so as you can see this is a pdf and uh, it is displayed inside a web view and you also can zoom in and out in this pdf and you can view it at better angle view the pdf at a better angle so this is what i will be showing you how to make today we will be displaying a pdf inside a web view so let's get started firstly let's open up xcode and let's create a new project Let's call it web view. And it should be storyboard, UI kit, and Swift. Create the project wherever you want. And let's just expand this a bit. And firstly, let's move into the main dot storyboard. And drop in a web view the web kit web view inside the view controller it should be web kit web view now there are two web views you should drop this one not the one which is deprecated but the web kit web web kit view and drag it along the view controller let's stretch it through the view controller and let's give it some constraints to the safe area zero on all sides and uh, let's also yeah let's yeah that is enough in the main the storyboard and let's create an IB outlet for this web view so let's call it web view and create an IB outlet and let's go into the view controller and we got to import web kit web, web view library otherwise you, as you can see there's an error which is being shown so import web view web kit rather sorry web kit and now let's start with displaying the a pdf inside the web view firstly let me drop in a, a, a a sample PDF so you can drop in any PDF you'll have and make sure you select this copy items if needed and press finish and let's uh, start loading this PDF inside the web view so firstly you got to create a path to the file to the PDF I just dropped let's type let's create a path and it should be bundle dot main dot path and you should here in the for resource you have to pass in the name of the file which is test test and the type of the file is pdf and next we got to make a url it should be url should be file URL with path and pass in the path and next you got to make a request so let request equals URL it should be URL request and you got to pass in the URL and now you just got to load this request into the web view pass this request into the web view and let's just run this and see how it works let me first delete the previous version old app and now let's run this and see whether the pdf is being displayed on the web view
uh, it's taking a bit of time but let's wait for a little bit more time okay there you go and as you can see the PDF has been loaded inside the web view and it works perfectly and let's see whether you can yeah to zoom in and out you got to press the option button option key and drag in the mouse along to zoom in and out and as you can see it works well works perfectly so that is how you load the PDF inside web view but before I let you go there's one imp very important thing uh, I need to mention so as you can see i'm using a quite a new version of ios here ios 14.5 but if you are if you have if your app is using a deploy an older deployment target let's say below ios 13 so that is ios 11 12 this app will not run because we are using the new web kit web web we are using the web kit view which is the new one which is the new which is af used after ios 30 and as you can see there is another web view which is deprecated and this is the older version and this is only supported by older ios versions so this new one will not be supported by uh, uh, older deployment targets uh, ios 12 and below so therefore it will crash so let me show you what uh, what what i'm ex what i'm trying to say so let's go into this project our project here and let's go to target target click target and go to build phase sorry before that before that sorry uh, go to uh, go to this project and let's firstly first let's uh, change the deployment target to maybe ios 12.1 and let's just press command b to build it and there will be some errors you got to fix for moving on so yeah you got to just fix these errors here and also in the apt delegate before making the you got to make an uh, way instance of UI window and now we can fix these errors here and yeah that's it and now let's select an uh, simulator with an older iOS version so I have uh, iPhone X with iOS 12.4 and let's run it and see let's run this app and see May take a long a little bit of a time as see, the I simulate in this to turn up a uh, turn on. So let's wait a bit little, little while. Minimize that one. And as and, and you can see, it is it is getting crashed. That is getting crashed because WebKit, as you can see, could not instantiate class named WebKit WebView because no class named WebKit WebView was found. The class needs to be defined in source code or uh, link. Uh, should uh, web, the class needs to be defined in source code or linked in from a library? ensure the class is part of the connected target so as you can see it doesn't work on older uh, ios version because webkit webkit webview is not supported so one way you can fix this is by uh, bringing in another view controller and uh, inside that web view controller you put in the you should put the old version of webview which is this one and uh, so you, you got to make a logic inside the view controller so if the deployment target is uh, 13 or above use this view controller if it's less than 13 use the other view controller with the older web view but there is a easier way to fix this issue than making another view controller so to do that go into the project again click the project go to target click this target here go to build faces and then click on this drop down this arrow link binary with libraries and click this plus button and inside this inside here you just search web web and as you can see there's webkit.framework so click that and press add and now let's just run this again and see in the ios simulator with ios 12.4 
and as you can see now it works completely completely fine in the old old, IO, old simulator with ios 12.4 so this is because it you i think it automatically uses the older version of webview when an older ios version uh, simulator or phone with older ios version is used so it works on that's the way to make it make the web view work on older ios versions ios 3rd ios 12 and below so let's just run it again on the on our new new uh, version uh, ios ios 14.4 and still it works completely fine it's taking a bit of time to load yeah now there as you can see there you go it loads completely fine and you can you can zoom and zoom in in both and, and we just check in the old uh, ios version as well and yeah you can zoom in and zoom out in both simulators so that is basically it. that is how you uh, display a pdf inside a web view so hopefully you found this video useful so i would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel and give a like on my video and uh, hope you have a great day and i'll hope to see you see you in my next video take care take care